Hi, I'm Rob with Roland, and we're here with Full Compass today, introducing the brand new Roland VR4 HD. For more information, be sure and visit fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales pro. The VR4 HD is a brand new integrated audio mixer and video mixer with USB output for web streaming or recording. So I'm gonna show you some of the built-in features of the VR4 HD. You have your four channels of video, so video source one, two, three, and four, plus you have your audio mixer built into it. So the first eight channels are for analog audio coming from either microphone input sources. Um, we also have some connections on the back as well. We also have additional eight channels or four stereo channels coming from each HDMI source. The cool thing about the VR4 HD is it's got four HDMI inputs. The inputs one, two, and three can either be 1080i, 1080p, or 720p. And the fourth input, it has full scaling on it. So I can bring in a standard definition resolution all the way up to an HD full 1080p resolution. So it allows me to mix and match with my other video sources. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the interface. All I have to do is press the system setup button, and now I can go into my menu here, which touch screen. So, uh, so as I mentioned, video input four has full scaling. So if I tap on video input four, you can see I'm at 1080p resolution. What type of scaling do I have? Do I want to do full? Or do I want to do letterboxing or cropping, et cetera, et cetera? And I can also change a horizontal position, and I can also zoom the horizontal size and the vertical position as well. So very nice for bringing in uh, different types of video resolution formats in input four. Transitions, so let's talk about transitions. You can do standard mix patterns. So right now I have set up mosaic, but I can do a NAM, a FAM, or just a standard mix. Let me show you what the standard mix looks like. This button right here is my, um, my dissolve time. So if I wanna switch between input one and input two, you can see um, it does a nice cross dissolve. Um, I can also go in and do straight cut switching. So if I hit that button cut, I can do straight cuts, and I can also do wipes too. You can see this is the white pattern I currently have selected. So I can switch between uh, the two different video sources just using a standard white. If I tap that button and I go down to my white pattern, I can now scroll through and you can see all the various different white patterns that I have to choose from. So lots of different options there. And again, I can adjust my transition time here, or I can adjust it down here with the transition time button. So let me go into um, some of the other functionality. I'm gonna hit the back button. Um, we also have picture-in-picture -picture capabilities. So you can either do a quarter picture-in-picture, -picture, or you can do a half picture-in-picture. -picture. Um, right now I wanna do a quarter. So all I have to do is go into my picture-in-picture -picture button right here, and now you notice that we have yellow flashing buttons on the top here. All I have to do is select the source that I wanna do a picture-in-picture -picture with. So all I have to do is select that, and as you can see, it does a picture-in-picture. -picture. If I go into my um, output window here, um, you also see you have the picture-in-picture -picture window that I can move around exactly where I wanna position that picture-in-picture -picture on the output. So pretty intuitive to be able to adjust that as well. Okay, so let's go back into the system setup, and I'm gonna go to the next page and talk about keying. So input four, I have a green uh, background with a title over the top coming from my laptop here. Um, if I go into my key window, it says, where's that source coming in? So I have that source coming into input four, and I can go in there and I can adjust. Is that gonna be a key type? Is that gonna be a chroma key? Or is it going to be a luma key? So for this example, it's gonna be a chroma key, and my chroma key color is green. I can also do blue as well. So all I have to do now is um, I'm gonna undo my picture-in-picture -picture window, and the downstream key now will allow me to key in this title over the top of my video. So all I have to do is hit key. As you can see, I have a key now over the top of my live video feed. I can also switch um, just by uh, switching the background sources, and because it is a downstream key, I can keep that key or my, that title over the top of my video source. And all I have to do is tap the next button, and I can also bring up a Roland logo on a black background. So you can see the keying has lots of flexibility. I can either do chroma key or I can do luminance key functions. So I'm gonna turn my key off. 
Uh, some of the other uh, capabilities are split screen. So I'm going to hit the split screen button here. As you can see, I have a vertical center. Um, these are the type of uh, the split screen patterns that you can choose from. Uh, my favorite is the vertical center. So I'm just going to show you what that looks like. I'm going to undo the system setup button. And I'm going to show um, video uh, input one and video input two. So all I do is hit the split screen and now the yellow button flashes and it that allows you to then select what video source that you want to do the split screen with. So I just tap that and now you can see I have two split screens or two images on a split screen window. All right, so I'm going to take the split screen off. So that's the basic uh, setups of that as well. Um, video output, you can do a, an auto output resolution or you can choose from a 480 source all the way up to a 1920 by 1200, which for use uh, uh, for for those of you plugging into projectors, um, that's a uh, 19 by uh, a 16 by 10 uh, output ratio, which is in a lot of projectors. Um, so that's the outputs uh, section there, and then the audio. So let's talk a little bit about audio. There's some key features. So in the audio section, we have this uh, special feature called auto mixing. So auto mixing, what that allows you to do is it allows you, let's say you're doing a, um, a panel discussion and you have multiple microphones, you have one moderator that you want to have the audio level just slightly above everybody else. So I go into my audio mixing section, or auto mixing section, and so here's my physical inputs down in the bottom. So channels one, two, three, and four. So notice that channel two, that might be my moderator, uh, the, uh, the waiting, is now set at 80 and the others are at 60. So when the moderator starts talking, the audio level's a little bit higher. So that's how you set that up. Um, the other thing too is we have echo, echo canceling. So you can um, set up echo canceling so that you don't get feedback. And it's really great, especially if you're bringing in someone from Skype calls or things like that. Um, the echo canceling allows you to bring audio in and send audio back through the USB port without having uh, feedback, that type of thing. Let's talk a little bit about the audio setup. There's some awesome mic preamps built into the VR4HD. For instance, uh, mic input one on the side, I just hit the setup button. You can go in here and change the, the, um, the gain and the level. All I have to do is then adjust uh, using the value dial. And you also have EQs, uh, a gate, um, and compressor as well. So lots and lots of awesome features built into the uh, VR4 HD for audio, so audio for video. The VR4 HD is an integrated audio mixer and a video mixer with USB output for web streaming or recording. For more information, be sure to visit fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales pro.